Hi, I'm Cindy Smyka, and my husband and I own Canadian Border Outpost on Moose Lake in Ely, Minnesota. CBO started in 1965, but as Canadian Border Outfitters, and that was opened by Bob Carey. Uh, he's a bit of a local legend, and a lot of people are fans of his work as both an author and an illustrator. And so when we found out that CBO was available for purchase, it was an opportunity too good to be true. When we purchased the property, the tow boat licenses were not able to transfer, which is the predominant reason we've had to become more creative with just our entrepreneurial vision and ultimately knowing we were closing temporarily to conduct renovations. We rebranded as Canadian Border Outpost because we were no longer uh, practicing traditional outfitting, hoping that down the line we would encompass a variety of uh, services and attractions and things that would bring people out to Moose Lake. And so we decided that Canadian Border Outpost would give us the room to develop whatever that might mean. We're really excited to use something that we have to serve a need that we see, and that is the staff housing shortage. And so starting next summer, we'll be offering the bunk rooms and the motel units to area businesses for their staff. My interest is in providing them an experience that is relatively turnkey. They wouldn't have the headaches of setting up Wi-Fi and waste management. Everything is included and I ultimately am going to be working directly with the businesses because the paramount goal is to make sure that the business itself has a employee for the entire duration of the summer season. I'm anticipating about 17 units. That would be single occupancy. There are some situations where dual occupancy would be appropriate and, and comfortable. But the, the real draw of this housing solution is that after a long day of work at the area business, they're getting to come home to a resort experience, sunsets on the lake, grills outside, and a social and recreational area that allows for them to really create a network of people who have like-minded interests and are doing something great for our economy. So phase two uh, would definitely include a lot of renovation. The cabins that are there will most likely be short-term rentals. Uh, we would have a commercial resort license, so we may be on Airbnb or VRBO, but it is a commercial property. The cook shack and the liar's den uh, will be commercial kitchen spaces, and we're gonna do so in a creative way, grab-and-go options, catering, and um, perhaps some packaged foods. We wanted to highlight and salvage as much as we possibly could. So beyond just the traditional buildings themselves, uh, we will probably be accentuating Bob Carey's legacy in a big way. My goal is certainly to improve the overall experience when visiting the Ely area and with a special flavor that comes from a place like CBO that has a long history of people who've cared not only so much about it as an operator, uh, but those who have been coming for generations.